residents in the Red Brick report an unknown man. I'm Ellie Spink from Mustang News with the latest. Plus, a new center is opened in Yaki Tutu. Residents of South Mountain Hall, more commonly known as the Red Bricks, have reported an unknown man entering their residence on October 13th. The man was asking a lot of questions and pressuring students to hold the door open for him. A key card is necessary for residents to enter the building. Residents called the police, but the man was not there by the time they arrived on the scene. This individual was reported from residents in Muir Hall, Sequoia, and Tanaya Hall. Police issued a warning to the man to stay off campus. And vaccine booster shots for all three vaccine brands have been approved by the FDA. For Pfizer, the booster shot is only eligible for those considered high risk who are between 18 to 60 and have been fully vaccinated for at least six months. Same goes for Moderna, with the dose being granted to 18 to 64 year olds who are high risk, as well as anyone over 65, six months after their first dose. And for those with Johnson & Johnson, you will only need to wait two months after being fully vaccinated to receive your booster. People can receive any booster shot no matter the brand of their first vaccination. And finally, the new Native American and Indigenous Cultural Center is now open in Yaki Tutu. I thought there was a lack of awareness on campus, um, especially for Native students. And once I found out about the ASA Club through the Multicultural Center, I think, um, I immediately found my family and my community here. The center is meant to be a safe space for Indigenous students to find their community while also promoting Indigenous education. The center features a mural by Joel Garcia.